Welcome to the Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information on Bookmap, you can go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free trial, 14 days. Uh, that also gives you access to the advanced order flow webinars and other resources uh, for our education uh, and support. Okay, you can also just reach out to us with any questions at support at bookmap.com. Uh, in fact, um, since it's Friday, uh, we usually do this, but um, um, in the chat box there, take a look, and I'm going to put this in now. Uh, this is the link for the uh, webinar, uh, the advanced uh, live order flow analysis at 11 a.m., so in about uh, uh, 27 minutes. Uh, so if you want to attend that, you're welcome to. Uh, and um, uh, that's what you get when you uh, are in trial or a current customer. The, the idea here, the concept is to filter out those that have platform questions uh, and then those that uh, are already know about the platform, uh, maybe there's a question here or there, but uh, for the most part, they're interested in understanding the order flow uh, and the phenomena that Bookmap uncovers. Okay, so uh, we really uh, dive into that and go through the order flow in detail. All right, so uh, let me show you where you can find Bookmap, uh, bookmap.com. Uh, Let's go up here to the top. Uh, I'll have a new link uh, after the webinars, probably in another hour or hour and a half. I should have another link up here for the uh, platform details webinar. Uh, members, they can sign in there. Uh, let's click on explore. Uh, some intro videos here you might want to check out uh, and uh, scroll down here. Um, this is how Bookmap connects. You will need to provide uh, or have a data provider. We're, we're not a data provider. Uh, we are a software platform, so uh, we uh, offer the software uh, and the visualization, uh, but you'll have to get the data from one of these providers here to connect Bookmap to the live markets. Okay, and in here's Bookmap. There's the basic, advanced, and quant um, different um, different features here. Um, so the basic is 49 per month, advanced is 99 per month. Uh, reach out to us if you're a quant uh, and have very specific needs. Happy to help you there. Uh, there's all sorts of, um, uh, you know, uh, features or, uh, yeah, features that uh, uh, the quant version will offer you an insight uh, to your studies, okay? Um, all right, so you get a 14-day trial period uh, with basic and advanced there. Uh, the differences between the two, uh, the ability to trade from the chart here, and then these uh, proprietary add-on indicators that we created uh, that go through order flow, uh, indicators for the order flow, not your standard uh, RSI or MACD um, or stochastics, okay? All right, uh, ah, more um, social media stuff here. You can follow us on Twitter, uh, and uh, it's uh, at bookmap. Uh, underscore pro okay and then uh, the um, you can subscribe to our YouTube page here uh, all sorts of videos that uh, you can watch uh, here including last week's uh, pro trader webinar series that uh, is up here on the home page okay all right well let's take a look at book map and I uh, wasn't sure what markets to take a look at this morning um, we've been going over oil uh, all week and it's been pretty good uh, this morning is it's been really bashing around, uh, but there's still some good stuff here. So let, let's uh, we'll we'll continue on with oil uh, and um, look at the crude market here. Uh, now, um, for those of you uh, new here to Bookmap, uh, let's go through what it is displaying. Uh, there looks like there's a lot of data here, uh, and there there is actually quite a bit of data, but it is um, uh, really um, uh, visually uh, simplified for you so you can really uh, quickly digest this uh, this data uh, just visually okay without being bogged down by a, num a lot of numbers and figures uh, and and still understand very quickly the overall shape of the market and the order flow okay so um, uh, it's actually uh, really simple stuff to be honest there, this is not an indicator uh, it's not a derivative uh, it's an actual uh, 
very, very accurate current and historical state of the market. All right. So, uh, and uh, let me show you what I mean here. So we're going to start off uh, with a candlestick chart and I'm going to turn off everything here. Uh, and we're just going to look at the, the um, uh, simple but complex. Yeah. Um, well, it is, it is actually, you know, to be honest, um, uh, Jack, this candlestick chart here is more complex uh, than book map. Uh, because, uh, this is, um, uh, you know, uh, it, it, this is a five minute period. Okay. So it's a, it's a period of, of data and it's hiding a lot of data here that you, you just don't have access to. And therefore, uh, this is, this is making it kind of, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, difficult to understand really what's going on here. Uh, and, and to understand the concept of the, um, uh, the candlestick, I mean, we're, we're all very familiar with it. Uh, so that's why I'm covering it. Uh, but the, to understand open, high, low, close uh, of a bar and then understand the wicks and then to understand the, um, the bodies and then try to understand all of this together with, with different five minute periods, that's complex. And it's, it's stretching. Um, it's not you're, you're just kind of guessing in a lot of cases. You're not really sure what might be happening here. Uh, and you're kind of reading the tea leaves uh, that, uh, you know, there's probably some sellers up here or maybe exhaustion of, uh, 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 of buyers, right? Well, we don't really know that. And Bookmap's going to answer that for us because we're going to show you this data. Uh, we're going to give you that transparency into it. So just try to keep in mind that uh, this is... Um, uh, it's not a derivative of price, time, or volume, uh, and it's just giving you the the the, the real data uh, and just visually uh, showing it here for you. Okay, so um, all right. So for example, um, uh, just the volume here. Where where did where did the volume trade? Uh, we we don't know. Okay, I mean we do have a sub chart here, uh, and it and it's showing uh, some volume spikes, but we don't know where it took place. We don't know how much and when, and we also don't know within these five minute periods. What about the structure of uh, little microstructure areas that have actually a lot of significance when combined with volume, okay, or lack of volume? So let's turn on just the historical best bid and offer to look at some of the microstructural areas. Okay, uh, and we can just start right here. All right, so um, uh, for example, uh, let's uh, try to find a little bit of insight here. Uh, we can look down at this little area down here uh, and um, and start to see something. So um, uh, I'll zoom into this period here. Okay, and uh, it's not really the, the greatest example, but uh, there is a bit of structure here. Okay, uh, at uh, around this 51, 40, uh, three area or so, and um, uh, you can see that we broke down below it, uh, went sideways for a while, and then look at the quick move up here. Okay, a quick, uh, then a, a, a nice little pullback uh, to well a few ticks away from where it broke from here, and then the move on up. Okay, so uh, we're gonna what we're gonna uh, see here is we're gonna see initiated buyers come in and move the market up. Okay, they broke this microstructure. Okay, and um, uh, we'll see uh, uh, what exactly took place here. And uh, let's let's do that. We'll turn on the volume dots. Okay, so already I have a lot of understanding here, uh, just with the structure uh, between this five-minute period uh, and then uh, this five-minute period as well. Uh, exactly what kind of occurred here. Okay, so actually, um, uh, it's not a, not a bad example. I thought it wouldn't be uh, so so great here, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, so here we had a breakdown, and you can see the sellers come in. Okay, look at the dots. Okay, the dots are on the historical best bid and offer. Uh, a green dot is an aggressive market buy that took place on the historical best offer. Okay, uh, and a a red dot is a is a market sell. That took place on the uh, uh, on the best bid. Okay, so let me zoom into this area right here, and I'll just show you what I mean here. Okay, there's a lot of actually a lot of back and forth here. Uh, we can zoom into this area. Okay, um, so we can see here uh, the um, uh, these little green dots here. 
okay, uh, on the, the historical best offer. This is the best offer. This is the best bid. Okay, this is a market buy. Okay, it's for volume of one, and I know that by using the rollover or data tip tool here. Uh, it's also in the bottom left-hand corner here, and it tells me the date, the time, and the time is down to the millisecond here, or no, it's down to the microsecond, uh, and um, actually it's down to the nanosecond, to be honest. Yeah, it's down to the nanosecond, okay? Uh, and, um, and then we have on the ask, uh, what was here on the ask, uh, and then we see at, at that price level, and then the volume, okay? So uh, we have all of this market data here, okay? So this was for a volume of one, and then immediately after for a volume of two. Actually, that's kind of funny because the ask still says one here. So that uh, uh, shows you something. There's something strange going on here. What's going on is someone is uh, absorbing price here, um, or these uh, market orders uh, with hidden liquidity, okay? See, so look at the uh, li liquidity here is, is for one, right? And this number that uh, catches that detail here, uh, this four, or there is an iceberg detector here in the indicators, uh, and then it, it, it shows me here, okay? So this little number here is showing me that uh, there was liquidity here that wasn't in the limit order book that was absorbing these market buy orders, okay? They're on the sell side. Okay, this is an iceberg order, right? So I don't want to get into that right now because um, uh, that's uh, more advanced, uh, and we can we can cover that in the advanced uh, webinar if you guys like. Um, but um, or ask me questions. Uh, you know, if you have questions about the iceberg detector, uh, we can go we can go through it. Uh, right now, though, let's just stick with his, the um, aggressive type of volume that we're showing here uh, with the green and red dots. So we have an understanding of where it took place. And then notice how as I zoom out, okay, we just visually aggregate this data, okay? And we give you the overall shape of it with this pie display, okay? We still have the volume of this dot, which is 718. And the majority of it, about, you know, less than two thirds uh, is, uh, is aggressive buying, okay? We know that. Okay, and we also know that there was an iceberg up here, so they were being those aggressive buys were being absorbed. All right, so uh, that's what the volume is showing us here, uh, and um, uh, this is the kind of insight and transparency uh, that we can see. Now, this microstructural area within uh, uh, this this uh, five minute period here um, is showing us something that you're not going to get within a footprint chart. Okay, that's because we can zoom in and we can show you every single detail here. Uh, the um, footprint chart, which I, I like the footprint charts, I think they're great. Uh, however, I don't like the way that they just aggregate the data. Okay, I like seeing that this is trapped volume down here. I understand it, I see the microstructure, I see a break of the microstructure right here at this area here at um, uh, 5143. And then I see the aggressive buying coming in, okay? They're lifting the offer up into these new ranges, okay? And um, uh, that's uh, uh, where we see uh, a new move take place. Where do we return back to? Exactly that point where we found the buyers, okay? These buyers are tested again, okay? Sellers right here, they, they hit the bid pretty hard right down into that area, and then they dried up. Okay, so let's look at this five-minute candlestick here. This actually looks like uh, you would think that uh, there's, there's a ton of selling pressure up here. Well, there is some here, but there's more buying pressure over here, right? So uh, you might be getting some wrong or, or making a wrong decision based on the candlestick chart and reading the, the wick and the body here uh, incorrectly. Okay, we can see that the, the sell, there's a lot of selling, but then they, they stopped right down here. We can zoom in here and we can find out exactly what happened. Okay, look at this little area here. Uh, we see the, the amount of selling uh, hitting the bid here is, is minimal. All right, uh, and then uh, we kind of go sideways for a bit. And then the aggressive buyers come in at this point right here. Okay, lift the offer a tick. And then they, they have control at that point. Okay, moving on up. Okay. Okay. And uh, another, this the same phenomena 
So, you know, something happened here. Uh, not sure exactly if it was if it was news related or 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 not. Um, but uh, you can see the the very sharp drop here, and we return right back to that area as well. Okay, and then uh, it, it retests it, and the dryers, or, I mean, the the buyers kind of dry up here uh, at that point, uh, and we just kind of go sideways. Okay, so we're getting a lot of insight by understanding uh, the volume and the structure. Okay. All right. So let's take off the candlesticks now because uh, they're just kind of getting in the way. Uh, and um, uh, let's. Uh, so now you can see uh, exactly what occurred here uh, at these price levels. Okay. And look, look where we we came back down several times here. Okay. And retested these buyers. Okay. And uh, some selling here it looks pretty good. That uh, we might get some continuation now. But uh, we had, it's pretty choppy. I mean, we get one more rotation back up and then the sellers here finally uh, continue to uh, hit the bid and we go to a lower low, okay? And we actually trade down below all of this price activity here, all right? So pretty significant uh, a move here. In fact, a move started here, okay, in the microstructure, but more macro view, you can see the volume pick up right down here to pull price down, okay, to get down below the low, all right? So a lot of insight by just looking at the volume and understanding the volume. Now, that's half of the picture, okay? It's a it's an important part of the picture, uh, but the other side of it is understanding where traders are offering and bidding, okay? It's an auction, so we want to understand that auction. Usually the way we, we understand that in, in, is to access the depth of market, the dome. Okay, that's where these columns come in, in handy over here. The current order book right here, this is your depth of market and book map. Okay, you see best bid and offer right here. Okay, and you see the depth on the offer and the depth on the bid. Okay, here's our price ladder. Uh, and then in this window here is the same thing. This is the current market, uh, best bid and offer right now. And this number is the last traded volume. Okay, so uh, now the current uh, market condition in the dome, uh, it, you know, it just is displayed well. Okay, we see all the liquidity here. And then we see these numbers change. They're changing all day long. It's, it's traders lining up. Uh, providing liquidity at these levels um, that, um, uh, you know, they want to be buyers at these levels and sellers up at these levels, okay? So we can start to understand the auction, all right? Problem with the dome is that this is, although a good um, view of the current market condition, uh, we have no idea about the historical, okay? What about these areas before? Were they here before? How long did they pull? Did, where did they pull to? Did they add below or above? What about on the offer? How did they behave? Well, that's where Bookmap solves this issue with the heat map. Okay, I'll turn the heat map on, and now we have an understanding. So in this current market window, uh, you can see the uh, areas of high liquidity here represented by the, um, uh, the heat map, the grayscale heat map. Okay, and we're seeing um, them bidding uh, here pretty aggressively uh, right underneath price right now. Okay, but they're adding and pulling pretty quickly too. So we're getting kind of a feel for, it. do they really want to trade here or not? And um, uh, it's, um, uh, you know, it's it's kind of uh, not not so obvious at the moment. Uh, they are staying here. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, and they, they showed interest here before. Okay, we tested into it as well and they stayed here. Okay, so they're showing some interest, but uh, they're also pulling and adding quite a bit. And where are they where are they adding it to? One tick below. Okay, so um, uh, now you can see that uh, uh, the sellers didn't didn't take them on, and here come the aggressive buyers. Okay, to the top of this micro range. All right, and then we're finding responsive sellers up here. Okay, uh, at the top of this micro range, this is where they're they're providing liquidity. They want to be sellers. Okay, something's going to occur here, and uh, this this range is going to get broken, and we'll find out who the who's the uh, the winner in uh, in this battle. Okay, looks like it's uh, uh, pretty good uh, right now for the moment for the buyers. 
okay? Because look at them bidding up here, okay? Now we see aggressive buying, okay? Pulling price uh, price up, okay? Out of this micro range. Uh, and let's see if they come up and provide higher liquidity up here uh, at this um, uh, 42 level, okay? And then we have a new trading range, all right? So you can see that happened really quickly. We've been seeing these really quick moves in oil all week long. Uh, but um, uh, this is what we go through in the advanced uh, order flow uh, uh, webinar. And uh, you guys have the link to it, and I'll, I'll paste it in again here. So there, there you go. It's in the chat. Uh, here they come at, at 41. They're supporting price here. So uh, we'll, we'll see uh, if uh, we accept. And if we do, we're going to come up and test uh, 51, uh, 50, the half figure up here. Okay. All right, um, so the the dome, okay, and the understanding the um, the liquidity here uh, in the auction, okay. Now, as I zoom out, since we take this current window here with the heat map, uh, we and we record it, we transpose it onto the chart here, and we see the auction, okay. Previously, this wasn't available. Uh, you were not able to see these areas here uh, where they were bidding and offering and how they were uh, behaving. Well, now it's all documented historically. Okay, so we know uh, now that uh, uh, there was a reaction down here. Uh, and, um, you know, it wasn't the, 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 the most, this wasn't really the, the clearest. They did stay here and they did add a little bit lower and then they pulled now. Okay, look at look at where they pulled and added to. Okay, up at a higher level. Okay, is probably the same actors because uh, when they pulled from here, they added up above. All right, so uh, now we're starting to understand not only the liquidity and the bid and and how they're behaving, we're we're also starting to comprehend the players here as well. Okay, that these are probably the same players. Okay, so we're starting to Id identify some of the larger players and what they're doing in this market. Okay, this offers tremendous transparency into the market and allows you to make more informed trading decisions. Okay, target is 51.50. All right, why? Because that's where the liquidity is. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, I hope that uh, hope that's helpful for you. Um, the uh, uh, advanced webinar, it starts in about five minutes. Uh, let me know if you have any questions here. Uh, let's see. All right. Yeah, okay. So uh, overall, this is why um, I, I know that, um, uh, you know, this looks like uh, uh, there's a lot of data. Well, there is a lot of data here, but it looks very complex. And it's really not, okay, uh, to just end up here uh, uh, and conclude to say that what we're showing here is historical best bid and offer, the volume on it, and uh, and then the um, uh, record here, uh, the history of the uh, limit order book, the dome. And that's it. Okay. Now we do have a lot of um, proprietary indicators at the advanced package, uh, and um, uh, there is a, uh, uh, a cumulative volume delta sub chart here uh, as well. Uh, we have uh, automated strategies uh, here that uh, I can show you. Uh, that um, uh, if you guys are interested, these are uh, for understanding the order flow here, or it reacts these these strategies react to the order flow uh, and, uh, and we can go we can go through these uh, maybe uh, in the next uh, next webinar if you guys have some questions okay all right so where is price we're uh, just about one tick away from that uh, 5150 and um, uh, you know we were just going through that process okay and we were understanding the the uh, the volume the structure and this the the, uh, the bid here Okay, how they were starting to behave, all right? And uh, we were at this area here. Uh, well, we, well, it was actually right here where we started to note it, and we note that they started to pull it away here and broke the structure. See, nice little pullback to that area, and then and then the continuation. 
Okay, and they supported price up underneath here as well. Okay, so we have broken out of this microstructural range and have extended uh, just to tick away here from that uh, half figure. Okay, looks like we're about to test it now, though. Yeah, now we're at it. Okay, so now it's testing it. Okay, so uh, it's no crystal ball. It's just going through understanding the context of the uh, commitment of the traders. Okay, with their uh, uh, with their transactions, uh, and then understanding the um, uh, uh, the limit order book. Okay, and the intent of these traders uh, at these levels. All right. All right, guys. Well, let's wrap it up. And um, you have the link there. I'll, I'll paste it in one more time if you guys, some of you guys came late here. Uh, there you go. And uh, we'll see you in the uh, in the next webinar in uh, just a couple of minutes. Okay. All right, guys. Bye-bye.